finally got my new baritone, so we're bringing back Baritone Wednesdays, and we're doing one of my all-time favorite songs to play, La Cancion del Mariachi. Printable tabs for this lesson are lessons in the notes, additional links in the description, including my email for one-on-one -on -one lessons. So go ahead and grab your ook, brain, attention span, cowboy boots, and bandera, y vamos a viajar a México para tocar esta canción clásica from the movie Desperado. Okay, let's start with the intro. Now you see it, it's written in triplets. That's the timing of it, but you could really think about it as just one and two and three, but it's not one and two and three. It's got this gallop feel, so it's not... It's... We'll talk about that a little more, okay? So it's going to start out with this shape. And this is 9987. It's like this shape you make down here. But you need to lift your ring finger up and get your pinky below it. Now you could use just your ring finger to play 998. Because we start off this lick by going 9th fret of the D string, 9th fret of the G string, 8th fret of the B, and then we get to the double stops. That's so much harder for me than just making the shape. So I just make the shape. So you're going to use thumb, thumb, index, thumb, thumb, index, and then we're going to pinch 7 and 8. Now when you get to this part, you can lift these two fingers up. I don't, I wait until I move my hand. But you can, nine, nine, eight, then lift them up if you want, because we're not gonna use them again. So nine, nine, eight. Now we're in the first measure, and it's seventh fret of the high E, eighth fret of the B, two times. And that's triplets, but you can think about it again as one and. But it's one and, two and, so it's two quick squeezes. And I'm using my in middle finger on the high E and my index on the B. And then after that second one, I release these fingers. You could let them ring. Either way is fine, because it happens pretty quick. So you squeeze two times, and then again two times. Do, 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 do. Slide this finger up to eight. Pick up your middle finger. Get your ring finger down on 10. So now it's 10 and eight. Play those together, and then right back to eight and seven. Again, you lift up your middle finger, get your ring finger down. Then when you go back, lift up your ring finger, get your middle finger down. But this index is just doing this. Wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Then we squeeze again. We go down here to eight and nine. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Okay. Then we repeat that again, here to here, then here to here. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And these are just, you know, intervals, but I kind of think about them as chord shapes. Even though they're not really chords, they're more moving around and suspending within the E minor. I kind of think about it as this, 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 and this is three ideas. So it's do, 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 do. Then from there, you're just going to go up here to 11 and 10. Now after that, I quick switch to the same fingers I was using here. I'm going to go from these two middle fingers to index on the 10th fret, middle on the 11, and I'm also moved up. I'm still on the two middle strings now. I'm on the G string and the B string. And I'm going to play index on the G, middle on the B, 11, 10, and then from the top. Switch. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Then it's these two fingers down on 12, 12. Do, 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 right? Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Then we have, we're gonna squeeze three times. This is a little different. Now this is 
part of the personality. You could stretch this out and kind of just do the same rhythm we've been doing if this is way too hard. But we're going to go. Do, 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 do. So you squeeze these two two times, then immediately play 12 12. Let that ring a little bit, lift it up, and squeeze these two more times. Okay, and then move that all the way down here, seven and eight like this, but up a string, and then everything up one more fret, back to eight and nine. So, so just the second half, right? Squeeze, 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 squeeze. It's probably a better way to say that. I'm gonna say the top number. No, that's because it's two syllables. So let's do the bottom number. 10, 10, 10, 10, 12, 10, 10, 10, 12, 10, 10, 7, 8. If we put all that together from the top, we get this. That's the whole intro. A little more up to speed. Love it. The verse is only two chords, E minor and a B7. One finger, second fret, two, zero, zero, zero. Drop that down to the second, index finger, first fret, Ring finger, second fret of the high E, so you get one, two, zero, two. We're also gonna see an A minor in the chorus, two, two, one, zero. Okay, now, strumming. One of the most charming parts of the song is the groove, right? So we wanna try to preserve that. And what we're doing is, we're doing three, strums over one beat. I go index, thumb, thumb. Some people like to go index, thumb, index. But the idea is that you go down, down, up. Down, down, up. Or down, down, up. Again, I prefer index, thumb, thumb. Experiment with that and index, thumb, index, but it's two downs and an up. And count to three when you do it. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Okay? Now, once you get that down, take it slowly. You can use that as the foundation for the entire groove of the song. Each of those is one beat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you would do it two times over your, I'm sorry, you do one and a half beats over E minor. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then the last two beats of that on, e, on B7. Then you do the same thing, reverse order. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that happens two times, and that is the entire verse. So slowly, let's go through that, it would sound like this. One, two, three, four. 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 Now I add a mute to it. And what I'm doing is I'm just the second time through, down, 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 mute, down, down. So I just exchange the first flick with a chunk. It's an option, you don't have to do it, but slowly it looks like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. 
One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. If you're using the index, it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay? One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And that helps me keep track of the measures easier because two chunks is one measure. So you do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, 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 and boom. So very, very slowly through the verse. So hay un hombre muy honrado que me gusta lo mejor. Las mujeres no me faltan ni el dinero ni el amor. Juntando mi caballo por la sierra yo me voy. Las estrellas y la luna ellas me dicen dónde me voy. Ay, 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 mi hijo. It's two beats on, if we outline the chorus, it's two beats on A minor. Two on E minor, two on B7, two on E minor, two on A minor, two on E minor, two on B7, two on E minor, and then there's one extra E minor before you go back into the, the intro riff. So this is like one bridge measure that's just two, or I'm sorry, yeah, just two extra beats of E minor. That's all it is. So you get with the strum slowly, one, two, three, Last one only has two beats. That's where it's a little tricky. And then you're back into the intro riff. If we speed it up, well, let's just add the lyrics first. There's extra two beats in there. Then you go back into the intro riff, sing the second verse, back through the chorus, and then you jump into the solo. For the solo, you don't have that extra E minor. It's just solo. And the solo is two full measures. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You do that six times. One. Two. And the third verse is the same, but you let it ring out. Okay, and then you get to this third verse, and then the third verse, it's the same progression, but it's also, you let it ring out. So it's, Me gusta tocar guitarra, me gusta cantar el son, mariachi me campaña cuando canto mi canción, me gusta tomar mis copas, abredientes lo mejor, también el tequila blanco con su sal da sabor. Ay, 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 mi amor. Ay, mi morena, de mi corazón. Ay, 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 mi amor. Ay, mi morena, de mi corazón. And you just finish on this E minor. You let it up and down, however you want to finish it. Let it ring out. 
but the last chorus is the same as all the other choruses. You just play through it three times. And that, my friends, is how you play La Canción del Mariachi. And there you go, folks. Así es como tocamos La Canción del Mariachi. I hope you enjoyed it. New baritone the first Wednesday of the month. Ukulele every Wednesday and Saturday. Guitar every Monday. Subscribe. Hit like. Think about becoming a Patreon. Cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger with those links up there. And until next time, rock and roll and have a lovely day. <laughs>